Hello peoples, welcome to episode 16 of Terraria 1.3 with all the cool new stuff from 1.2 Yes, so last time I went exploring in the antline caves again and I died again and I got my stuff back again and I got used to using uh, what is this called? Slime mount? Uh, equipment slimy saddle slums a I have this tongue twisters. Summons a rideable slime mount. I guess my slime mount. I got used to using the slime mount. It actually deals damage to stuff you land on, and it does not break your fall, but you can jump pretty high. Ow. That did more damage than I wanted it to. Anyway, I so better watch myself until I get some kind of safe fall item. I've just put away my stuff, like, things I need, don't need. I had a Flareon already, and I was just about to ask, what's his name, Wyatt? Wyatt, how can I make my 50 life potions into 100 life potions? Glowing mushrooms. I don't believe I've found those yet. Let me check the map. Okay, glowing mushrooms are underground. And you could tell by... Oh, here's some. The caves are bluish purple. There we go, giant mushroom, giant mushroom. So I have been there already, but... Not a whole lot. Yeah, and this is all of the game I've explored so far. So the only glowing mushrooms I know how to find is here. There are lots more in the game, but... That's my best bet so far. If I've been there, I may have some already. Let me see. Uh, it should be in here, if anywhere. Here we go, 25. Uh, how many does one make? I'll grab 15 to start with. Ask Wyatt again, hey, what do I need to do this? Why are you going over there? There's nothing over there. Well, there kind of is. I have something to show, show the people. Okay, I need two lesser potions, one glowing mushroom, and one bottle. Oh, and when it says down here, bottle, I guess that means you need a bottle to stand next to, not one in your inventory. So, I only need 30 lesser healing potions, and 15 glowing mushrooms, and one bottle. So, off to the crafting area of the center building. Here we go. Bottle. Now, here it is. 15 healing potions for 100 life. Now, I'm not sure how it works, but I think when you push the hotkey for healing, you'll use the item to the top leftmost and start to check items in this order. Then down a row, then across, for which one is an actual healing item, and use that. So if I have lesser healing here, it'll use that instead. So I gotta make sure I need the 100 life potions where I want them. Okay, I had a flare gun already, so I'm gonna sell it. Not sure if I had any extract niggers stored away. I was trying to find a place to put them. And I'm holding on to the recall potion because... Uh, well, I don't have a magic mirror just yet, so better keep it on hand until I do find one. Sell a flare gun. Quick cloud in a bottle. I'm going to put that away and this yellow marigold. I don't think I have a chest for accessories, but this will have to do. Check this again. No extractinators, but that's sort of the same thing. And Marigold goes here. Okay, now for the thing I wanted to do today, which was grab it out. Actually, two things before I do that. Let me see. Ores. Collected a bunch of tungsten, so I should be able to make a full set of tungsten armor. With the helm, I can now craft. Open up the menu, tungsten helmet, 20 bars. There we go. 4 defense versus the 3 defense of what I have already. 
That puts me to 19 because the set bonus gives an additional 3 defense. Fantastic. And uh, Deadly Katana. I'm going to ask Wyatt if I can make a tungsten weapon that's stronger than the katana. I got katana from the traveling merchant, if you remember. Crafting tungsten bar weapon. I would love to make an emerald staff. Uh, short sword, broadsword 13, 19, yeah. 21. Yeah, the staff would do more damage than my katana. Ooh. I would love that. So what do I need for this? 10 tungsten. Great, I got that. 8 emerald. I might have that. Let's see. I just keep adding things that I'm going to do before I do the thing I wanted to do today. Uh, that was here. Next one. 8. Uh, I want to keep one because I like to have just one for a place to put things, but I really want the staff. Alright, I'm doing it. Uh, 10, 12, whatever it was. This will be my first actual caster item. Uh, there it is. Taboo Emerald Staff. Now let me put away the... Tungsten. Well, I'll just put a gem here to tell myself... No, glow stick. Tell myself something green goes there. So it costs more mana than something without any chance? Or... I guess features. Caster and more knockback. Knockback is good for caster because you want to keep things at a distance. Uh, ooh, I could try it on the target dummy. Let me put away the extra ores in here. Bars, I should say. And I'll probably sell the iron helmet I was wearing. Okay, 19, 21. And 1621 for the katana. It does cost more mana, so I might have to try to use it sparingly. But yeah, I've got a really long range weapon now. How far does it go? Wow, <laughs> all the way to the wall. Alright. Now, I th there are weapons in the game that go really far. But I don't think they all have unlimited range. I mean, eventually they'll fizzle out. Okay. Now, what I was going to do today is... Let me grab the... I run? I run... Well, in this map it's lead. I think I only need lead and wood. I always have wood on me because I never know when I need to make torches again. I want to make a... Reinforced fishing pole. Because today I'm going to go fishing. Maybe. I don't know. And for fishing, you need bait. Fish bait. On all the bugs and stuff I put in this chest. And what better bait than worms? I think I'll take. Mm, 25. I don't think I'll be using all of them. But 25 will. Pretty. Make sure. We'll pretty make sure. Well, having 25, that will make for a decent time spent fishing. Now, maybe down in this pool will work for now. I haven't tried out fishing yet. Uh, I think I've tried it in 1.2. Maybe? Don't remember. Oh, sorry, I hit the microphone there. Uh, have I gone too far? Yes. That was some, oh yeah, I was going to tell you what I did. Like, I've made some modifications. Like, up here. I removed the, the entire top half of the mountain, and I was thinking, I need a new place for trees, because I can't keep expanding buildings and homes and stuff. And if I do that, I won't have place for trees to grow. I'll have to go way out to the sides to get my wood. So I'm in a place specifically just for tree growing. It'll be up on the removed cap of this mountain. And I'll keep this one for palm wood. And to the east with the snow for boreal wood. And there's also the shade wood from the crimson and ebon wood from the corruption. But I don't have corruption in this map. Okay. Onto the yummy fish fishing. 
of underwater. I think I'll leave baby slime out of this for now. Hey you. Oh yeah. I still have that slime medallion thing. Royal gel. Slimes become friendly. It's more like slimes don't hurt you. Ignore or you're invincible to slimes. Alright. I think that's all I need to do. You just cast your line. Wait for it to something to pull on it. And you left click again and you'll pull up something. I just got an old shoe. Great. There's a lot of junk items. Well, there seems to be a lot less junk items. A lot less. There are more actual use items than there are junk items. So, oh sure, as I say that, I'm going to start pulling up all kinds of crap. Watch, I'll pull up like a uh, round driftwood. Bass. That's the most common fish you'll get. Another seaweed. Do, 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 do. Now there's a fishing NPC that you can talk to. He'll give you a quest. Kind of a quest. Basically, he asks you to find a specific type of fish that can only be found in a certain place. And you can. I'm not sure if you have to be on the quest to find that fish. But anyways, once you find that and give it to him, uh, he will reward you with sometimes unique fishing stuff, like uh, fishing bait, or in rare cases, a better fishing rod, and certain trophies. I think there's a mount that he awards for one quest. Now the percentage on a bait item, I think that means the percent chance that the bait will be consumed. Uh, meaning, when you cast your line and pull it back, whatever has been caught, there's a chance that you will lose that bait. So as you'll see up in my hotbar, number 6, I've got 24 here. That means I have 24 worms. So I lost one somewhere along the way. And the strength of your fishing pole also contributes to that. 15% and then 25% from the worm. That is 40%. Though, by, at this rate, it seems I would have lost a lot more bait by now. Come on, give me like something good. I, like, you know, I know there's crates and stuff from this. There's a wood crate, iron crate, gold crate. Th things keep taking my line, or maybe I'm pulling back too soon. Come on, fishy. Bite the hook. It's tasty. I've laced it with, um, I don't know, antlion guts. I've added a special antlion mandible hook. Tastes really good. Now, I, by the sounds of it, I think a slime is killing my merchant. Thank you, baby slime. Alfred, what gives? Do you not have the will to live anymore? Are sales that bad? Oh, look, there's another one. Is the door left open up there? Come on, fish. I don't want to save on baby slime just yet. Alright, but it looks like I'll have to. Now I gotta go close his door. Yeah, it is open. Who left that open? Like, I know I'm the only person here. This is a single player game map world. But I don't I don't think I would leave the door open myself. There we go. Now, hmm. Yeah, they might be able to get in like this too. I could just close this off. I mean, it just makes sense visually to have it there, but if monsters are going to get in, I may as well just take it away. There we go. Hopefully, he will survive the night. Now, back to fishing. I'll try a few more to see if I can get something. Oh yeah, and I've decided for the tunnels, I'm not going to dig... like, everything out, like I have here. 
That'll take ages. So what I'm going to do is dig straight down, like in this format, with a rope tunnel. And I'll go to the sides if I find caves or anything. That should give me plenty to do and plenty to find and stuff like that. Looks like I've gone the wrong way again. Fishing is this way. That reminds me, I'll have to f figure out a way to better... A way to better construct. Well, I need my tunnels to work better. I don't want to go down w windy passages to get to where I want to go. It has to be pretty di much direct. And I see vine ropes in the water. Come on. Give me a crate. Maybe I need special bait or a stronger rod. Bass. Well, bass isn't too bad. It's an item you can use to make uh, food. Food you can use for the food buff. Now, there's a lot of food you can make in the game for the same buff, but bass is really, really cheap and easy to get. And one of the easier things to make into a food for that food buff. And it doesn't take up any space for, let's, like, say, a, a plant farm for potions. The only space it really takes up is the amount of water, water you need for an eligible fishing hole. Seaweed. I'm not going to eat the seaweed. How long does this take? Do I just have poor luck today? It's probably baby slime scaring the fish and... What's his name? Alfred? And his screaming. Having his eyes pecked at by slimes. Oh, Alfred. Don't you know how to defend yourself? You sell weapons and stuff. I mean, if I had weapons lying around, I would use them. But I really wouldn't recommend Alfred use these ropes to, you know, do himself in. Don't think about the ropes, Alfred. Please don't. I need you. I mean, who else is going to sell me stuff? Like pineapples that you don't even have. Well, he's doing better. He'll probably survive the night. Oh yeah, you don't have to sit still. You can just jump around and stuff like this. Cling to the ceiling or the floor. So you can kind of dodge monsters if you're in a place that monsters like to attack. The only thing that will remove the hook is really switching the active item in your slot here. Like if I hit 5 or 4, and then you'll just have to toss it out again. I think you can pull it back from pretty much anywhere. Let me see. I'll go here. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Come on, give me a crate. No, that wasn't anything. Yeah, 25 worms was more than enough bait. Come on. Alright, I'll fish up three more items. Regardless or not, a crate is fished up. I've also added a to-do list on the walls at the main base, the main house. I got a list of things I want to build and... Actually, I think it's mainly build stuff. One thing was tunnels, another thing was Katie's house, the nurse. Uh, the house to the east, I forget his name. Oh, no, that's the dwarf demolitionist's name. The die trader, I was going to expand his house as well. And do a bit more work on the altar room. Hey, wooden crates. Alright, now... Well, let's see what's in it. 3 Iron Skin Potion, 12 Lesser... Ooh, Mana Potion. I can use this. Because I just learned how to use spells. Pew, 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 pew. And Iron Skin Potion increases my defense, which is always good. It means I won't die as fast. However, in order to make use of it, I'll have to actually get hits. You know? 
kind of useless, but kind of not. Okay, let me show you that uh, to-do board. Bulletin board kind of thing. To-do list. There it is. I'm sure people have seen this. You know, if they're looking at the video. Fishing area around altar. Place for plants. I'm gonna start working on potions, maybe. Katie's clinic. Rethink tunnels. Straight down rope drop. Explore caves. I'm not gonna dig out the entire map. And expand the side houses. Katie's clinic and this... Phil's die hut. I've killed 550 zombies. A lot of zombies. Alright, well, that's been today's episode, fishing and what I've done since, well, a very long time, last time I put out a video. And if you like this video, leave a like, it lets me know what people want to see so I can do more. And if you want to see what else I've been up to, feel free to subscribe as well. Okay, until next time, I'm going to go maybe explore and fight more things. And building, I guess I'll pick one of these at random. Okay, till next time, be swell, stay well, and farewell. <laughs>